What is going on guys? Welcome again here at Young and Investing. In this video, we're going to talk about three reasons why Bitcoin is rallying above 9K. Of course, the main reason is that half a year we made our bottom on the crypto market, probably our bottom at 3.1K. And since that time, Bitcoin is already going up slowly but steadily. And last few weeks, it is going up very hard. So that is, of course, the main reason why Bitcoin is rallying above 9K, obviously. And also because Bitcoin is just Bitcoin and it should go up on the long term. That's why we're investing in it. So Bitcoin is just something very good and everyone should own it. And I think people just realize that they need um, a part of a Bitcoin um, to not miss this train. Anyway, we are going to talk about external factors that are pushing Bitcoin a little bit higher than it would do without these factors. So factors that are really stimulating the growth of Bitcoin at this moment. And I want to start with mentioning that uh, a few weeks ago, I made my bull or bear video in which I said that I thought that June was going to be a red month, that it was probably going to be a correction for Bitcoin in that month um, towards 6.4, 6.8K area. But for now, this correction is not at all happening. Against all odds, against all indicators, against all technical analysis, uh, it is just simply blasting through everything. I was wrong there, I admit that, and for now, it does not seem that Bitcoin is going to correct towards 6.4, 6.8. It might still happen, but the things that I saw are already invalidated. Um, so it broke out of this rising wedge upwards instead of downwards. Um, all these indicators, yeah, you know, for now, it's not going to happen um, that it's going to correct to 6.4K in June anymore, or it should go very hard down from this point. Anyway, we're going to look for three reasons or we're going to talk about three reasons why Bitcoin is rallying above 9K. So the first reason is the Facebook going to launch its own cryptocurrency. In this article, it still says global coin, but it's probably not going to be global coin. Um, insider info is saying or rumors are saying that the cryptocurrency is going to be called Libra and Libra is not going to be a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, not at all. It is not going to be something that is freely traded on the market and the price is going to rise astronomically like we saw for, for, uh, for Bitcoin happening in the last few years. That is not going to happen because Facebook, it's cryptocurrency, which is probably going to be called Libra is going to be a stable coin. It is going to be packed uh, to a basket of US dollar and Euro. And Facebook is not launching this alone. Of course, it is their project, but they found already a few interesting investors. For example, Visa, Mastercard, Uber, PayPal, and Booking.com. So these are five of them, each investing $10 million, which means they raised already $50 million. But in total, they want to raise as much as $1 billion over 100 big companies. So they're looking for partners in the Fortune 500 list that wants to invest one, uh, 10 million each and this way, when 100, 100 uh, companies are investing each $10 million, they raise their $1 billion target. So what is it going to look like and why are they actually going to, to launch this cryptocurrency? Well, it is going to look like a cryptocurrency, but we're not sure if it's going to work like that. Of course, it is not freely traded. It is entirely centralized. And it's, we, we, we don't even know if it's going to trade on a blockchain. If it's going to trade on a blockchain, we don't know which one yet. So that might be a big thing if a cryptocurrency blockchain is used for the Libra token. Maybe they're just building their own blockchain, but I doubt that if they have the right people to do so, maybe they do because they have a lot of money and they can pay the best developers. But we don't know that for now. But it is not going to be like your typical cryptocurrency, that's for sure. The details are going to be out tomorrow on Tuesday 18th of June. The white paper is probably going to be released with more technical details. So I'm very, very curious to see what it is going to be about. Now, why does Facebook launch its own cryptocurrency? 
Well, it's pretty simple. We know Facebook likes to collect data from people and they like to sell it to other companies and use it for advertisements and targeting uh, for all kinds of stuff. And this new cryptocurrency is going to be tradable on their own platform. So on Facebook, you can send peer to peer. You can also buy things on Facebook with the Libra token. You can uh, buy sponsored content with that. So sponsored um, uh, posts to, towards other people. So you can pay for that with the Libra token. And they Facebook also wants that you use the Libra token on online web shops. So this way, they're going to collect a ton of new data, which right now they need to pay for or they don't have access to because we, they don't know the spending behavior of their customers because banks are not going to give them this data. Um, of course, the website itself can sell the data towards Facebook, so they need to buy it and they don't have the other data. So this way, by launching this cryptocurrency called Libra, you don't have any privacy anymore online because that is probably the, the goal of Facebook to simply get more data than they already have from you right now. So this way they can target you even better for sponsored content, etc. Um, and sell the data maybe to other parties as well. And then they have a new uh, cash flow system from new data that is the first reason why bitcoin is also rallying above 9000 because of course the word cryptocurrency is suddenly hot again and which is the big competitor of libra and people their people's their opinion um, of course it's bitcoin so their interest in bitcoin is also going up because of this if it's going to be launched and the white paper is out i think the interest in cryptocurrency markets in general especially for bitcoin is going to get even a bigger boost than it already got right now because of this news. Uh, so we will see tomorrow when the white paper will probably be released um, called Libra. The second reason is Binance. Binance banning US customers. So Binance dropped a big bomb uh, last week by announcing that US customers have 90 days to apply on the new platform Binance.us and leave the old platform Binance.com. They are not able to use the Binance.com anymore platform anymore. Maybe they still can because you can use Binance without decent KYC, um, but you only have a withdrawal limit of two Bitcoin per day. So I think a lot of people from the US will still use Binance.com because there will be a lot more tokens on it. There will be uh, initial exchange offerings. There will be margin trading, etc. So these things will not be accessible for US customers on the other platform. On the other platform, Binance.us, which is going to launch very soon, you won't have all the cryptocurrencies, so you will have the big ones, of course, um, and some utility tokens as well. But most of the other utility tokens, or let's say half of the utility tokens that are traded on trading on Binance right now, or Binance.com, will not be on Binance.us. They won't have IEOs on Binance.us. They probably won't have margin trading on Binance.us as well. And the KYC will be pretty heavy. I think we can expect a heavy KYC. Um, is this a surprise? Actually, not at all. We saw other cryptocurrency exchanges such as Bittrex also launching Bittrex International for US customers, etc. So this was to be expected that the land of the free uh, was going to regulate this so hard for for americans to trade cryptocurrencies and you can think like why why is bitcoin benefiting from this of course because us customers who are a big part of the cryptocurrency space they are going to sell their cryptocurrencies their binance coins and these tokens which are pretty unsure if they're going to trade on the new binance exchange bitcoin.us for now they're selling all these altcoins into bitcoin so of course altcoins getting a new hit um, and Bitcoin is going up. So this is actually good news for Bitcoin. And I think for the other big cryptocurrencies such as Litecoin, Ethereum, etc. as well, XRP, um, it's good news for them because the, small, the money from smaller cryptocurrencies, smaller altcoins will flow to the big cryptocurrencies with this news. We don't know if it's going to spread again. Maybe, um, maybe they find a way to still use Binance.com and then there's no not problem that people can still invest in these smaller altcoins. But for now, it is a good 
a catalyst for Bitcoin to trade higher. And then the third thing is the Litecoin block reward halving. So in 49 days, Litecoin's block reward will be halved on, it is expected to be on the 5th of August 2019 that this block with the new halving will come around. So that is good news for Bitcoin. Why? Because uh, the last, the, in the past actually, Litecoin had a very good run towards its halving. And then after that, it took some steam back. It, it, it went down a little bit once the halving was done. And shortly after that, Bitcoin started its bull market. And of course, money from Litecoin will flow to Bitcoin. So Litecoin will go down a little bit, Bitcoin will go up. And then the hype for the Bitcoin halving can start. So the bigger the hype for Litecoin, the bigger the hype for Bitcoin it's going to be. Um, so Litecoin is done in 49 days. Uh, and Bitcoin is next year, it's going to have also uh, a block reward halving. So that's the third reason why this hype of the Litecoin halving can also go to Bitcoin like it did in the past. So let's have a quick look to the, to the charts right here. This is the Litecoin chart. We see that it's actually trading a lot higher since it's low here. It, it more than doubled, almost tripled at its high here in Bitcoin value alone. And right now it's, it, may, it seems to make like a double top or something. Uh, we don't know where it is going to end. Maybe it's just going up again after that. But Litecoin having a very good run over the last few months. I bought some Litecoin, the first ones at uh, $30 and the next one was at uh, $33. So I made good profits with that. Then the Bitcoin chart, what I want to show you right here is actually why Bitcoin don't care. We saw this weekly candle here which was looking very bearish, but we saw that in the bull market, in the last bull market, Bitcoin really didn't care about um, bad weekly candles and it just kept going up, kept going up, sorry. So we saw some corrections here, uh, here, 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 one big candle here, uh, which looks pretty similar to this one. And yeah, it, it feels like 2017 all over again on the Bitcoin chart and, and in the crypto market in general, mm -hmm. apart from the fact that altcoins are not doing so well in the last few months, actually last few weeks, altcoins are really struggling to get out of this bottom pattern. Some of them are breaking out very well. Some of them are not doing so well at all, trading at even an all-time low or close to an all-time low. I think about VeChain, for example, which is an awesome project. So hopefully bitcoin just calms down a little bit very soon that so that altcoins can also get their time to shine and finally um yeah go up a little bit in bitcoin value because right now they don't have the chance because bitcoin is moving so fast uh, up and down even that altcoins don't have the time to do something anyway that's it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed it if so please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you are new to this channel Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.